And I went to, and I tried to do something for myself for change. I went to buy some shoes, you know, give myself some retail therapy. I could buy shoes. But then I had to deal with an overzealous shoe salesman. You know that, bro? How's it? <laughs> Ask me a stupid question. You want to buy some shoes? No, I was hoping to catch athletes' foot from the display models. <laughs> but I don't say that out loud. I was like, yes, I'd like to buy some shoes, please. Right? And then he comes always with one shoe, right? They always do that, come with one shoe. I got two feet, bruh. I didn't come here like a pirate. Arr, I be wanting a shoe. <laughs> then you try the shoe on, everybody does that weird deer learning to walk to test the effectiveness of the shoe. It's a very important part of the shoe buying ritual. But more importantly, part of the shoe buying ritual is pressing on that big toe. <laughs> This is the imperative, fundamental part of the shoe buying ritual. Now for kids, I understand the reason we do this. Because we have to assess the growth potential within the confines of the shoe. Makes perfect sense. But for adults, my foot has been the same size for the past 20 years. Why am I pressing on the big toe? And I was buying sandals, so I don't even know. I have to do this, it's a part of the ritual. I'm not so, I think I got the ingrown or something. I went to buy shoes, and I went to go buy my wife pads. For those of you who are confused by what pads I mean, I mean feminine hygiene of products. <laughs> I wanted to to buy the pads, bruh, right? But I've been buying pads for 20 years and my brain is still in denial when my wife asked me to buy pads. Right? Because I don't want I buy the pad. Right? right? She's like, Riyad, can you get me some pads, please? I uh, must I go to the CNA? When I write something down. I want pads with a pin and lines and no lines. No, Riyad, I, I'd like. Right? And I'm aware of all the details of the pads. I've been buying pads for many years. All the indicators on the pads. Right? On the side of the pad box, they've got their little droplets. <laughs> on the side. Have you seen these droplets? On the side. Some of you have no idea. The OGs. Let me explain. The droplets on the side, that indicates the amount of internal tears in the heart of a husband. <laughs> They have to buy the pants. My heart is a heavy flow, bro. Heavy flow. Because I put effort into this thing. You know? Get confused in the pad aisle. Chick, chick, the staff is going. And I'm like, don't me. Don't me. This is this game, not clicks. Don't me. And on the side of the pad box, they say, the pads have got wings, bro. They're not wings, they are flat. There are no aeronautical capabilities to the pads. They flaps. You don't do this. They flaps. There are no aeronautical capabilities to the pads. I've never seen my kids on the balcony. Daddy, watch this. And, and there's a cortex. I'm like, bro, what are you doing? At least use a fresh one. What are you? Hey, let's just move on, bro. That's another karama, just move on. <laughs> and it doesn't even make sense, bro. It'd be too heavy, you know, it'd be heavy. Uh, it's already flapped by that point, bro. <laughs> now, when you're walking back, right, from the shopping mall, then you walk back to your car, right, and you have to deal with those mothers, those idiots, those poopos, those dwarfs looking and I hate the people looking for parking because they act so creepy, bruh. You know those bruh, so you're just walking back to your car, mind your own business, and there's a bruh in his huge SUV following you.
<laughs> and then you get to the car, right? And then you have to deal with that mime through the car window. He's like, And I'm always like, no, I'm not going to leave. I'm just getting something from the car. You know, I'm, all, I'm just getting something from the car. It's all sad. And they wait for the bra to go around the corner. Then I leave. No, I actually don't do that, bruh. But I think of doing that. And it makes me feel bad that I actually think of doing that to that poor guy. Right? And then I overcompensate and I act too nice. I'm weird, bruh. Even if I don't want to leave, I leave, bruh. My wife is still inside. No, I'm the one looking for parking. Get a phone call, I don't know where you are. <laughs> okay, then you see that oasis in the desert, you know, the potential for parking, there in the distance, bumper, bumper, indentation bumper, like it's there. The potential, the oasis in the desert, and you get there, brah, and that's a bloody Hyundai Atos, brah. <laughs> Mother Atos! <laughs> listen here, bruh. Listen here. If your car is just a little bit bigger than Hot Wheels, no? <laughs> Take the car with you when you shop. <laughs> Put the Atos in your trolley or your wife's handbag. <laughs> when you're done shopping, take the Atos out. <laughs> got to do things that you don't want to do, you know, to be supportive, you know, because you have to also join forces against the kids. The kids, the spawn. <laughs> right? Because they never listen. Getting out of the house is a military operation for married with kids people. Single people, you have no idea how difficult it is to leave. Like difficult just to go outside the house because you just get an idea, I need to leave. <laughs> that is a distant memory for people like me. Bro. Distant memory, you know? Even when you first just get married, right? You know? First of all, you get slowed down by your partner. You could help your partner, maybe get dressed. I used to help my wife get dressed. I don't mean like a nurse like me. <laughs> I used to help her choose to get dressed. And I used to hate to do this because my primitive male brain is not equipped to discern the superiority between the two things, bruh. But even though I can't do it, I'm ineffective at it. I try because I want to be supportive, but no matter what I suggest, bruh, she always choose the other one, bruh. <laughs> not just sometimes, 100% of the time. The other day she's like, Riyadh, should I have the green dress or the red dress? The green dress or the red dress? I'm like, the red, green, red. Red, the red dress. It's like, I was hoping for the green one. What? Let's see my brain. <laughs> The outside, babe, can I talk to you for a minute? Can I talk to you? Why you always do that to a person? <laughs> you always ask me to help you choose. And I don't like doing it, but I try. I don't like doing it because my primitive male brain is not equipped to deal with discerning because you only just put the dress like in front of you like that. <laughs> you don't try it, I just put it in front. And I must not imagine. Like men, we're not good at imagining women with their clothes on. <laughs> I don't mean it like that. I don't, I don't mean it like that. 
and then some will put one earring on the one ear, another earring on the other ear, one, two on the one foot, other on the other foot, and you just go like this, what's better? That's all, what's better? 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 And I can't do it, but I try. But no matter what I suggest, <laughs> you always choose the other one, bro. Hurt the person's feelings. <laughs> She's like, no, Riyadh, I appreciate you. Know that I appreciate you. From the bottom of my heart, I appreciate you, my love. But you know, you don't always make the best choices. <laughs> like, I chose you. <laughs> loud are you mad I'm still here bro I'm still here <laughs> emotional damage <laughs> you have to band together right against the kids marriage is about balance you're supposed to complete each other it's about balance like for example the things that I don't do well my wife does well and the things that I do well, she does better. So it's... <laughs> equitable, you know? But you have to band together against the kids. Because my kids, I've got four kids. We've been overpopulating the earth. And the babies, they fight all the time, bruh. Like I have to go to the toilet, bruh, for just some peace of mind. <laughs> but the minute I like close the door, it's like... to suck it back up, <laughs> guys. <laughs> What's the problem? Give daddy a chance, man, please. Stop fighting. I can't get their shoes on. They never want to have their shoes on. Even my eldest, you can't put his shoes on. He's got this big hobbit feet, bruh. Hairy feet, and he can't, like he's like a farmer, dude. Never wants to put his shoes on. I'm gonna change his name to Mohammed Kurbus or something. <laughs> Get him a two-tone kurta. <laughs> you know, Falskun fez. I don't know if they have that. Falskun hoofs. <laughs> you know? Right, and then the third one, right? He's always got his shoes on, top on, but no pants. <laughs> he's one of those lighties, you know, just like, ah! Wearing the Batman top, Batman muscle top, boots, moss, but just yo. <laughs> Todd, Todd, Todd. Todd, I'm Batman. <laughs> Who's that Robin over there, bro? Is that Robin? <laughs> and I can't, I can't manage him as well as my wife. I just can't. You know, I try, I don't beat my kids, so I negotiate with him fearlessly, right? But my wife doesn't even have to negotiate, talk nothing. She just has to adjust the size of her eyeballs. I don't know how ladies do this. She has to increase the diameter of her obicularis oculi muscles. The circumference of her orbital cavity. And they jump, bruh. Like me, I'm negotiating, bruh. Zamir, I came here 10 minutes ago and I told you, mom wants to go shop, right? I said, I'm gonna come back in 10 minutes. I want your shoes on. So 10 minutes later, your shoes are still not on, bruh. Okay, okay, my skin is not Mohammed Kobus. Sit your foul schoon aan, alsjeblieft, my Mikey. Your mommy will wankel to gaan. Poepo. And he's like, no, don't worry, I'm gonna do it now. I just wanna play two more hours of Fortnite quickly. My wife doesn't play that. She just comes in like this. And he's like, it's like he grows the shoes on. Mom, I did all my chores, I did my salah, I did my Quran, I did my homework. Mom, that's a good choice in green dress, Mom. It's beautiful, Mom. Mom, can I carry your handbag to the car? Dad, get in the car. You always take so long, Dad. I tried that thing with my eyes once, dude. I was like, Samir, Samir, Samir. Samir. He's like, Mom, I think Dad's having a stroke or something. <laughs> I'm 
not as effective as they are. You know, not as effective as my wife. And I don't beat my kids because I don't believe it's effective. I don't beat my kids. I don't believe in beating anyone. I got that philosophy from Will Smith, bruh. <laughs> right? And I don't beat my kids because I don't think it's effective, bruh. I'm thinking more like a taser. <laughs> don't act like you never ever thought of that before. <laughs> Guys, it's time for bed. I'm not tired. <laughs> Okay, okay, here's an olive branch, right? Not a taser, tranquilizer dot as a peace offering. And I'll support my statement because I'll tell you why. Because sleep is good for children, right? So this is a way you can discipline them, cause them to sleep, because sleep increases growth hormone secretion, which causes like frontal lobe development, which potentiates executive planning development. So this is the way in which you can actually discipline the child and improve their overall neurological prowess. Some of you clapping, some people WhatsApping child services. Quick <laughs> one. Yeah, just getting his children to tranquilize the dogs, bruh. I just want to do it. I dream of it sometimes, you know, with my daughter. Love her to bits. She's my baby, bruh. But she doesn't stop. Teenage girls, they don't stop. Bah, 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 bah. Continue, bruh. Brilliant. And bah, bah, bah. Never stop, bruh, bruh. And Dad, can I have a cell phone, please, Dad? Dad, please. Can I have a Huawei phone? It's the BTS phone. Please, Dad, please, please. Why am I saying so many please? Because you asked me to ask nicely, and I'm saying nicely, please. Please, please, Dad. Please, I love you, Dad. Please. Please, Dad, please. Can I have a cell phone? Please, Dad, please, please. I'll do anything, Dad. Please, please. I know we can't do it now. Why? 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 Why, Dad, please? Why? 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 Because I don't know. The, 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 first of all, your school doesn't allow it. Also, like money doesn't grow on trees. But money is made out of paper. Where does paper come from? <laughs> Dad, Dad, don't worry about the south one, Dad. I just wanna, just wanna lie down here for a minute. Dad, the tiles look so comfortable here, Dad. You never told me the tiles look so comfortable. You must give me some tiles for my mattress, Dad. Can you give me some tiles? I'm just gonna lie down here a little bit, Dad. I love you, Dad. We love our kids when they sleep, babe. We got so much love for them. Babe, babe, this is our daughter, mashallah. Allah blessed us with this perfect creature. You know, I'll do anything for her. I'll die for her. Dad can have a... 